Good morning. This is Dottie Stitching Scotty. Today is January the 7th, and I've decided that um, I was going to do WIPGO 21, 2021. Goodness. And a WIPGO weekend's coming up because it's the second weekend, and I hope I'm doing this right, but I'm going to show my WIPGO whips. So, let us start. I have my bingo card. I made it up just pencil and paper because sitting at the computer is like, ugh, hate it. So anyway, number one, I called it the nativity, but it's really nativity row. And those of you that watch my floss tube videos know that um, I definitely have been working on this one. I, it was, I was trying to get it to be a Christmas finish, but that just didn't happen. So I'm going to show you where I am on this so you will know if I've made any progress. And then at the end of the month or year, I will um, update you on this. All right, I'm doing this on 32 count French Country Rain, and there is my progress so far. So I've got about a third of it. I'm using Week Style Works, Gentle Arts, Classic Color Works, and some metallic DMCs. And this is uh, 28 count, sorry. Mm, yeah, oops. So anyway, my goal for this is a finish. Surely I can do that. All right, so if I stay, sorry about the wrestling, if I stay focused, I should be able to do it. Then, those of you that have been watching my floss tube video know that yet again, I'm still working on 12 Days of Christmas Whimsy by Just Nan. I have all of these finished and FFO'd. I have seven, eight, and nine finished and FFO'd. No, I, I have nine finished, not FFO'd. I need 10, 11, and 12. And I'm looking for a frame for number nine because for some reason, I am one frame short. So, this is my progress on 10, 11, and 12. Oops, drop something. Hang on. Okay. All right. And I was bad today. I did not iron anything. Okay, as you can tell, there's 10, 11, and 12. Not even started. So, I'm considering this one project, and it's on 32 count uh, Zweigart uh, linen. And I want to say it's dirty linen, but I'm really not sure. I've had this so long. And it uses chronic and DMC threads, and it uses pearl cotton number eight for most of the white for the numbers. So we'll see how far I can get on that. Please let me have a finish. My goal is to finish 10, 11, and 12. And that shouldn't take long. All right, then number three, everybody is has been doing this sale for Barbara and Le, for Leanne. Um, and Barbara and Leanne started it before Leanne passed away. Baby, it's cold outside. And it's by um, Heartstring Samplery. And I started it and I had very good intentions. And yet again, I fell by the wayside. Because squirrel, squirrel, I got hooked on something else. But my goal for this one is to have 350 stitches. Oh, Deborah. Mm. Just a minute. I'm still not used to having something to actually put my pieces on. So I'm I'm working on this. Okay. All right. There you go. I've got some started. Okay. And I just let the thread hang. I'd at least like to get the house finished, you know. But 350 stitches, I figured that was going to be like pretty ample. This one is done with um, Gentle Arts, and I've got some Classic Color Works and some DMC. I just used what I had, and it's done on a piece of linen from my stash, and it's 32 count. 
okay? So hopefully I can get my 350 stitches in that. And I'm gonna try to work on it a little extra this year too, later. And, uh, you know, probably put it back on my board for some more stitches and uh, see if I can get a finish on that. Um, but um, I really wanna finish that because I really, really love Lost in Floss. And Barbara and Leanne were just such a great team. And I just want to do this in her memory just because that's just, she's just such a sweet person. All right, then number four, I went to a retreat at Panda's Crossing. I've never missed a retreat she's had since uh, since um, she started having them. And she actually, uh, the picture I have for this is very small. This graph for Be Kind, Be True I'm assuming it's a freebie, but I don't know, so I'm not going to show the graph because I really believe that we should support our designers and not sweepy swap and all this kind of stuff um, and definitely not copy. But anyway, uh, be kind, be true. I want to say it comes from a DMC company, the DMC company, and if they put it out to uh, highlight their... Uh, color variations and cotton embroidery floss. And this is what it looks like. And I thought that was just so pretty. Um, everybody really liked it at the retreat. And of course we're using, oh boy, a mess of floss. We're using DMC flosses. And mine are a hot mess, as usual. My floss is always a hot mess. These people that comb their floss and stuff, I admire them so much because I'm just, wad this up, wad this up. But I get the stitching done, and it makes me happy, and that's all that counts. Uh, so far, I didn't have much of a start. Um, you know, there was lots of eating and fellowship going on, and that's what we really love about our retreats is the fellowship. And, you know, Zoom retreats are nice, but in person so much better. And this is the bird that I've got started. And I started working on the leaves and the branch. So, um, I said I was going to get a finish on this. And it's going to be mounted on a paper mache book. And I think it's a book. It may be a box, but I think it's a book. And we will be... Um, using, I'm going to paint it hunter green with um, acrylic paint and use clear brie wax to give it just a little special finish. So hopefully I can get that done. Then next, did another I haven't started this yet. I belong to Stitch Quarterly with Fat Quarter Shop and this is the last Stitch Quarterly. And I've been so busy working on Christmas things and stuff, I did not even get my Santa baby out of the package. Shame, shame, shame. I've got the, the Ada cloth. It's supposed to be done on, oh dear. It's, the stitch count is 91 by 91. It's on 14 count minty green opalescent. So it's got all the little sparkles in it. See the nice little sparkles? Maybe, maybe not. Like that okay and I got the little floss beaties and all the little goodies that go with it and I've not even put mine on the cute little floss beaties but I need to do that and then I got the needle in the little needle holder that says Santa baby and I can't wait to start that I was kind of hoping they'd pick that number this month but they didn't um, but that's okay I just will enjoy doing that and on that one I'm going to go for 400 stitches. All right, next, this is my number six. This is the one of the numbers that was picked this month. And some of you probably have never seen this pattern. Um, it's, it's very old. <laughs> uh, it's called Spooky Halloween. It's a bright needle design. It's by Liz Nudson and Ann Pettit. I think I pronounced Nudson right. And there's the pattern. Now, 
this was a kit. So it's on R&R &R Reproductions, 32 count antique cotton linen. And the stitch count is 117 by 117. It included the floss and the floss I never heard of before. It was old willow stitchery and some DMC six strand cotton embroidery floss. And it's one over one on um, 32 count. So at the time, the reason I threw this down was because I needed to get new glasses. So now that I have new glasses, I think it's high time I should start working on this. My goal is three blocks and I have two done and one started. See, that's kind of teeny. So I'll be doing some work on that this month. So next time you see it, let's hope it has five blocks on it that's finished. So that would be good. Five out of nine is not bad. And then I may stick it on there for next time. Now, just to give you an idea, uh, you would probably have to find this on Stash Unload or eBay because I would probably bet that this is not in print anymore since it was printed in 2002. Um, <clears throat> but I loved it from the moment I saw it and I was like, oh, gotta have it. So there you go. Okay, and that goes in this pile because I gotta work on it. All right, and number seven, learning stitches. I signed up for that at Sassy Jack's. It's a free um, learning stitches sampler from Jeanette Douglas. All you have to do is buy the book and uh, some banding. And you can use your own, well, if you had banding, it was okay, but I didn't have any, the right size. But Jeanette Douglas has all these beautiful stitches and I know how to needlepoint some and I've done embroidery and cruel embroidery um, since I was a girl. So, you know, I thought, oh, this will just be like a brush up, you know. And I'm just going to show you the first stitch that you do in the book. And this one's called the Hungarian stitch. And the diagrams are beautiful. And the banding I have came from overseas. Um, I want to say that Kimberly said it came from either the Net the Netherlands or, oh dear, I don't remember, so I better just be quiet. So anyway, uh, she gave us a little beginner band, so I did that to commemorate that I did it at Sassy Jack's, and it says Sassy Jack's Learning Stitches. And if this is a free course, it's a video course. And if you do want to, um, this is an excellent time to learn this. You just go to her website, sassyjacks.com. And you um, you have to purchase, um, because it's zero cost, but you have to act like you're purchasing it. And that gives you access to get a code to click on there and access the videos. And you can watch the videos at your leisure. And because you can watch the videos at your leisure, I did not. So my goal is to get four bands done. So that will be a good one. So I'll watch four videos and do four bands. And the bands are just big enough just to um, get you acquainted with the stitch. Shelia from Sunshine Stitchers is also doing learning stitches. Other than that, I really don't know anybody else that personally that's doing that. But I know there's a lot. Now, next, <clears throat> um, my number eight is Tea Time. And I'm going for a finish on this one because it is just so close. Um, this was also a retreat project. We had a coffee and tea uh, retreat at Pandas Crossing several years ago. <laughs> Everything several years ago. These have been laying around a while. And this is a Mill Hill kit. And I just thought it was just adorable. I'd had my eye on it for quite some time when it first came out. And so, this is going to be one of those quick finishes. But I just thought I would just make myself accountable. See, I've got all the cross stitching done. All I need to do is some beading and just a teeny weeny little bit. And it will be finished. And then I can put something else in there too. And this is on 14 count perforated paper. Um... And the design is 72 by 72, and it uses DMC floss. 
and it has all the meal heel beads with it. Lots of beads. Oh, yay. My problem with beads is threading the needle. It, the eye is so small, but I try to use a number 10, and that seems to help. Okay, next, and that's for a finish. Excuse me. Next, we have stitching bow. And not just, uh, and also, uh, this is from, this is a ongoing sale that we're having at Pandas Crossing. And this design company is a new designer I, I just found last year, Filigree, Filigram, excuse me. And this is Stitching Buddy. And of course I picked it because it had a dog on it. It's not a Scotty dog. And if I were an artist, I would have made it a Scotty dog, but I'm not an artist. So there you go. But the stitch count is 143 by 100. And I just thought it was very colorful. And we're also going to put this on a box. And I have to get this done pretty quick. So this is going to be a Zoom class as far as I know. And she's going to show us how to finish it. And I've got a good bit of this done. I've, I've actually been working on this. Oops. A good bit. So. And that's what I've got done. Sorry, it's not ironed. But today, I'm allergic to the iron. Okay. Now, this one's done on 28 count. Yes. 28 count. Um. Belfast linen, and it's light mocha, and it uses Gentle Arts threads, and I used all the Gentle Arts, I'm using all the Gentle Arts threads because I just happen to have all of them, so I was at the shop when I got them, and of course, I'm keeping them all in my beautiful Scotty bag that my friend Mary made me. Is that not just gorgeous? She is such a good seamstress, so, um, I just, I just love it. I can just never, ever repay her for making this because I am not a bag maker much. So, but that's going to be great fun and I can't wait to get that done. Okay, because that'll be upcoming probably in about a couple of months. So, I may have to work on that one early if they don't call the number. All right, then I have the bookshelf. And not to sound like a broken record, uh, another retreat project I did not finish at Pandas Crossing. This was our Get Lit retreat. And if I'm not mistaken, this was one of the last retreats that we had in person. Um, it's just a really, when I saw this one, I was just like, oh, this is really neat. I can make this as a gift for somebody I know. And hmm, it's not done yet. But this is from Little House Needleworks, and it's called The Bookshelf. And it highlights authors like um, uh, Browning, Dickinson, Alcott, Burnett, Austin, Bronte, and Wilder. All women. You know, Sense and Sensibility, Secret Garden, Wuthering Heights, and Little Women. So if you know somebody that loves to read and likes these authors, this would make a great, great gift for them. And it's done on, oh dear. Okay, hold that thought. Okay, it's done on um, 28 like Mocha Cashel from Zweigert. And we used DMC floss and when we went to the retreat, she was nice enough to zigzag all of our um, projects. This one's been folded up a good while. And that's the progress I have. I was pretty good at a retreat considering how much I socialized and how much I ate. Um, and it's two over two. I've been forgetting to tell that sometimes. So, um... That's going to be really good. Okay. And what I'm going to get done on that one is 500 stitches. So that should put a considerable dent in that one. So that will be great. All right, then we're on down to number 11. 
Now, when this one first came out, this was called A Year of Celebrations. My goal was to do a month, I mean, one month every month, because there's 12 different little charts, and they're all, um, that's not it. There's 12 different charts, and uh, there's one for each month. All right, and there's the pattern. And for those people that live in Canada, we even have Canadian for November and July. So that's even good. The patterns are easy to read. And I'm doing mine on 32 count Belfast linen. Okay, and I'm using Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Arts that's called for and Classic Color Works. So, so far, I've not done too bad. <sighs> Okay, and of course, yet again, they're not ironed, so there you go. I've got January. I need to FFO this one and stick it out, don't I? I've even got the little thing for finishing I'm going to do it on. I've got February. For some reason, I had a hard time with that one. The heart, I just couldn't, I don't know, my counting was off, but uh, I finally got it fixed. But it, this was the rip it pattern. Okay, then my little favorite so far was March. Because I'm Scotch-Irish descent and I just love anything with the Irish and the Scottish. So I just thought that was just so cute with the little leprechaun pieces. Okay. Then, I must have started this in December. That's all I can figure because then we skipped to December. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, goodness. But the December was so cute. It had the little elf feet. Just look how cute those are. Just adorable. And all the Christmassy colors. And I even forgot I had this one finished or I could have FFO'd it and put it out for Christmas. But there's always next year. And so that's all I have done so far that I know of. So let's look in my bag to make sure. Oh no, this might be the one. Yes. Oh yes, forgive me, there's more. I forgot, yes. All right, and then I got April done, April showers. So you can bring me flowers. Isn't that cute? I just love stitching the little cloud and the umbrella. Just so cute. And then the tulips. I love tulips. Those are my favorite flowers in the spring. And then I just did the weirdest thing. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. You know how when you don't stitch something for a while and you, I'm just going to show you this just to show you how people can do sometimes. Okay. But you're stitching something sometimes and you get to a point and it's like, oh yeah, I need to do such and such. Well, this is May. I started it twice. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to keep this one because I have more and I'm going to be ripping all this out. And it's very, very wrinkled. I don't know how it got mushed to the, this one got mushed to the bottom. And I guess maybe this one got mushed to the bottom. And then I restarted and did this. That's the first time I have ever done that. But it's a beautiful start. So, I'm going to start working on that one. And I'll be ripping on this one. Okay, and my goal is to get two months in the month that I'm supposed to do. So, I'm going to finish May and do June, hopefully. Okay, so, there is that one. But I just love the little uh, pictures and, and everything, and I can't wait till I get that one done. I don't know why I ever put it down. I really don't. All right, now, for number 13, that was her free space, and she drew that this month. And because I am a reluctant FFOer, which is a finely finisher, I thought, you know, I'm going to put that I'm going to finish something. So, this was my finish. Uh, I just got the ready-made Mill Hill frame. And this is from the 
Just Another Button Company. It's a free pattern. It's several years back, so I, I should have checked to see if it was on the website. I don't think it is, though. And you had to buy the buttons, and you got the pattern for free. And I just love the little snowman teacup. And this is on Tin Roof Weeks Dye Works fabric. 32 count. But it was just so cute. So I finished that, and I was very proud of myself. All I've got to do now is put the stuff on the back. <clears throat> Okay, so that's one square I've got covered. All right, next we have Snowman Surprise. And where did he go? Oh, dear. Oh, here he is. Okay. Snowman Surprise is number 14, and I'm going for finish because, yet again, this was another retreat project from another year. I want to say this one was winter, and because I was really visiting at this um, retreat, I did not get hardly anything done on this little snowman. Uh, I want to say this is Mill Hill Banding, and this was designed by Sharon Crescent. And I cannot show you a picture because even though it was a free chart um, from Crescent, for Crescent Colors, this is when before it was Classic Color Works, um, I just, it says, please respect our wishes as owners of this pattern. So I'm not going to show the pattern, but it's got the little snowman on the cute banding. See, here's the snowman. And then, then down here, it's going to say winter. And then there's a snowflake up here and some snowflakes over here. And he's holding his hat out. So I said I was going to do a finish on this one. Hmm. We'll see if that gets done. And uh, it uses wildflowers um, from Karen. And it also uses Holly Weeks Dye Works in place of balsam fir. And we use Accentuate 303 in, instead of Finley Gold. Okay, so there is that. And then when I finish it, she also, oh, she provided snowflakes for us to use. The little treasures. Mm, let me hold this up. Hang on. Oh, that's worse. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Little snowflakes. And we have a dowel with some green ribbon. To finish it with. And because it's going to be a little bell pull, a little bell at the bottom. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was really cute. So, why I let that lay around when I can finish that and it can be so cute. I just would always find it in the summertime and it was like, oh, I don't want to stitch on anything snowy in the summertime. Okay, next, we have another one that I was so excited. I saw this at Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill as a shop model and it was beautiful oh my goodness it was so pretty and i said oh i've got to have that i've got to have that and the good thing was is the frame that they had it in her husband had made this frame that looks like a castle around this and it just i don't know it, the frame just made it and i just thought oh it's just so cute and you know i love some halloween and isn't that cute with the little ghost and the little cat and the two houses, and look at those crows up in the up in the trees, and the owl. So, uh, this one's by the Stitching Parlor, which is Clara Blaylock. I have attended one of her retreats, and this was not a retreat project at, at Stitch and Frame, but the model is stitched on twenty eight count autumn gold by Lakeside Linens and Designs with two strands of crescent colors, which is now Classic Color Works. Oh shoot! Excuse me. Oh, ouch. Okay, with crescent colors hand dyed floss, and it uses black 
310 DMC. And there's how much I've got done. So I'm a good way along. The grass is really what I'm gonna get bogged down on. And it's got the little pumpkin buttons. So on this one, I didn't put what I was going to do. Oh, dear. So I think I'm going to put 500 stitches. That's what I think I'm going to put, 500 stitches. And that will really, really knock some uh, stitching out. I wouldn't mind to be stitching on that this month either because it's just so, so cute. So... <clears throat> All right, and that was two over two. Okay, next we have Coming to America. I was so excited to get this pattern. Um, and I got the whole kit, and I also got it from Stitch and Frame. And I got the cute little needle minder, and I got the extra pattern, and all the goodies. So... I started and I stitched and I stitched and I stitched. And I did mine, I picked, you could choose 36 count or 40 count. Well, I never stitched on 40 count and still haven't. And I was like, oh, I just don't know if that's just gonna be uh, what I need to be doing. So here's the pattern, Coming to America. It's by Brenda Gervais and it's just beautiful. And it's the Women of the Mayflower. Um, it's 125 wide by 422 stitches long. I opted to get the uh, DMC thread pack. So I did that. She also gave us the little three inch cubie thing to uh, measure three inches down. <clears throat> and this one is, I used one thread over two. Oh dear and it's stuck on something. Okay, now, I started out at the top. I just measured down. And this is on Vintage Country Mocha by Zweigert. And some of the colors that were picked out, it's real hard to show up. But that's how much I've got done. My boat is stranded out in the middle of the ocean. But we're going to revive it with 500 more stitches because I really found out I do like stitching um, with on 36 count. It's a very, I mean, to me, I thought it was easier to stitch on than 32 count. I don't know why, but I really did. And uh, this one uses Weeks Dye, well, you could use Weeks Dye Works or, and Gentle Embroidery Floss, or you could use um, just DMC. And you know, now that I think of it, I'm using all three things. Excuse me, that's what was in the kit. Week Style Works, uh, Grits and Oscar, and then Gentle, Embroid Gentle Arts, Apple Cider, Mountain Mist, Wood Trail, and End Dive. And I'm using Classic Color Works, Chesapeake Bay, and a bunch of DMC embroidered floss. So you can tell it's been a while since I worked on it. Oh goodness, but we're gonna, we're gonna raise the ship and set sail. Evidently we must've been in a calm and uh, we'll do our 500 stitches on that. All right, next, we have Santa Claus is coming to town. And I have it in my Scotty bag. So, this one's number 17. And it's by Priscilla and Chelsea, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. Sorry about the glare. And it's on black 28 count even weave Jobulin. And I'm using the Called For Classic Color Works. Uh, threads and I think y'all saw this one just this this week but I'm going to show it again for those of you that have not and this is all I have done Santa Claus is and I've got a little bit of the limb around here so in this one I'm going to try to do 400 stitches and I think that will get me revved up and going because I really want to put it on that letter box because I got the last one at Hobby Lobby and I was so excited because some things I really, really enjoy getting um, 
and you know the finishing things and other things I'm like oh you know I might want to do something different so but that one was just so cute then number 18 and this is one I have to stitch on this month this is also a former retreat project from Pandas Crossing and I want to say this came from our spring retreat and this one is from I want to say praiseworthy stitches yes it's from Praiseworthy Stitches, and it was printed in 2010. And when you get every, well, okay, here we go. This is, this is a tiny pumpkin, H-U-E-T-U-I. -E I think I'm saying that correctly. I'm not sure. But anyway, when you get everything all finished, it fits just so adorably in this cute little jack-o'-lantern. Isn't that just cute? And you just store it like that. And you know me, I'm all about some fall and some Halloween. But this is more folly. Okay, so I have patterns to, um, you know, things. All right, then this is what I've got for the... Um, Oh dear, what is this one for? The pumpkin. Okay, I have done the little scissor fob. All I need to do is finish it. It was the crow. And we used DMC floss, and this is on 32 count uh, antique ivory. And there's all my stringy floss. So it doesn't use a lot of different colors, but they're just all beautiful. And this is what I've got done on, oh dear, the pin cushion. And then I've got beads and buttons. And fabrics so my objective is to get one of these pieces finished and I, I um, the pattern is they've got excellent finishing directions so I would like to get it FFO would also but if I could just get it stitched that would just be like an accomplishment that I just would not believe so that would be great um, then number 19, this is also a retreat project. Are we getting a theme here? I do not finish all my retreat projects. This one's from Stony Creek. Oh my goodness, if I drop one more thing. Oh goodness. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I guess y'all get a lot of laughs just watching me drop things. But this is from Stony Creek and it's an apron. And it says, I'd rather be stitching. Uh, it says, stuck in the kitchen, much rather be stitching. And it's got some floss down there. And, of course, I was visiting yet again. So, uh, well, I got more done than I thought. Um, and yet again, she was nice enough to uh, have somebody zigzag around it. But I've got kitchen and stitching, and I've started on one of the flosses. And this is on, yeah, it is. Uh, four, oh, it's on 28 count um, white linen, and we use DMC thread and um, some DMC light effects. So, I think this will be really, really nice. And I've got the apron to put it on. So, I've got everything I need. All I need to do is get this done. And that's what I've got for it is a finish. And then I'll be able to strut around my kitchen and cook. And everybody will know, I, instead of cooking, I'd rather be stitching. But I always like to eat, you know, after you cook it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Sorry about the rattling. Then... Number 20 is, yeah, it is. 
That's not it. How can anybody get so disorganized or unorganized? I just do not know. Um, okay, we may have to come back to number 20 because it's disappeared. Oh, no, it has not. Excuse me. I now know what it is. Okay. It's Square Dance. I had it in an unnumbered uh, container. I have it in this container. I just love these. Somebody got this, I want to say at Big Lots a long time ago at our EGA group and handed them out to all the members. And I just thought that was just great. And it just opens up and snaps. And this neat little project bag, um, I put the floss in. And those came from Pandas Crossing at a retreat. But she does sell them also. Okay, this is Square Dance. And I have the pattern for the border. And... I've got the entire set of the year. I started gung-ho on this one too, January, February, March. I decided to do them all in one piece. There's also April, May, and June, which I've not gotten to yet. July, August, and September. And October, November, and December. Can you tell? I really go for seasonal and monthly things. These are done on 32 count vintage country mocha belt, ugh, vintage country Belfast linen with two over two. Each little block is 40 by 40. Um, they come with the little, oops, I don't want to do that. Excuse me. They come with buttons. Okay. Um, and I'll show you my progress so far. And my goal on this is, yeah, it is, two blocks, to get two blocks. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And I've got January. It doesn't look done though. Hmm. Let me look at this. Yeah, I need to write January in here. Then February, for some reason, I just stopped and didn't write February. And then March has a lot of birds. So I need to finish all three of these. So that's my goal for this month. Or not this month, but my, my finishing goal is to finish these three blocks. I don't know why I did that. I was really squirrely on this one. Hmm. Maybe I just didn't have the right threads or something. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Next, um, we have Holy Night. And we're going to probably have a problem with this one because I have now misplaced my thread while I was doing one of my floss tubes this week. It's got to be in this room, though. Hmm. Yes. But anyway, it's done on 19 count summer khaki cork linen by Zweiger. And I saw this model done and I thought, oh, this is just beautiful. And Deanna from Half Stitch Cross Stitch is also doing this. And this is my progress. Oh, I didn't show you the graph. Excuse me. There's the graph. Isn't that just beautiful? And this is my progress. And I've got the little village of Bethlehem that I'm working on. I'm glad they didn't pick that one this month because it's going to take me a while to figure out where I put the thread. So hopefully I can find it when I'm looking for something else. And I don't usually lose so much, but it's just very cluttered right now doing these floss tube videos. And I need to get my system down pat. And this one uses uh, Gentle Arts Crescent Colors, which are now classic color works because it's an old pattern. Week Style Works and Rainbow Gallery Petite Alpaca. So on this one, I have a finish because this is a sow I'm doing with uh, Deanna from Half Stitch Cross Stitch. If y'all want to join us, you just go right ahead. It's going to be hashtag 
Holy Night Sal. Okay. All right. Okay, next we have Button Snowman. And this one, okay, here we go. This one is also a free chart from um, just another button company. I had four children. And when you have four children, sometimes you don't have a lot of extra money for stitching and whatnot. And uh, there's like a sketch of the graph. So I would do a lot of these things where I would buy the buttons and get the patterns free. So, uh, it's a little snowman with a birdhouse, and he's got a bunch of little buttons on a little string that runs across. And I discovered at this time, well, at that time, oh, it doesn't bother me now, that I do not like to stitch a lot of white. But since then, I have changed my mind. White is good. So, um, I just... Um, wouldn't stitch all of one color, and you can tell I've really not ironed this one. But this one is on 30 count friendship blue linen, and it used two strands of floss from Gentle Arts and Weeks Dye Works, and it's embellished with buttons by just another button company. So it's two over two, and I have such a big start. The little snowman at least has a head. He doesn't really have like a, a neck looking thing, like a curvy thing. It just kind of swoops down. So I don't know if he's in the process of melting or what. But anyway, um, my goal is to get 400 stitches on this. Because who knows, I may be tired of stitching on white again. Because have you noticed I have a lot of snowman things? I just, I'm all about the snowman and Christmas for some reason right now. I just can't seem to get over it. I think I'm stuck in a time warp. Okay. Then the next one I have uh, is not Christmas related. It's not snow related. And it's called Stitching Row. And it's by Bent Creek. And I just thought that was so cute. I have all the row patterns just about, and I just can't wait to get them all done. I have several done, but not a lot. And it's 278 stitches by 32, and these things work up really quick. And I just got diverted this summer. This was a mania start. And I got diverted this summer, you know, because I was trying to start all the things, because I had to have 31 starts. And, <laughs> yeah. That was quite a job. I don't know if I'll do that this year or not because that's why I have so many whips. But anyway, I've got probably about a fifth of the alphabet done. I have J, K, L, M, N. So, and of course it's not ironed. And um, this one's on 32 count linen and it's two over two. And I'm not sure what color this, oh, yes, I am. This is country French, French country rain linen. So, um, my goal for this one is to get 400 stitches. And it uses Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Arts. And for this one, I'm going to have to find some buttons. Um, because I don't have my buttons yet. But... That's nothing to worry about right now. So, that's good. But this was one of those that I thought, oh, this would look... Oh, I do have my button, too. I lied. It must have come in the kit. Okay. Got to put that in there so we don't lose it. Okay. So, 400 stitches. Then next, I started this. And, of course, once again, I was like, oh, yay. I just can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do this. Well... It was a lot of white, and at the time, for some reason, I did not want to do a lot of white. And this is the Snow Village pattern by Country Cottage Needleworks. Okay. I was doing several projects at the time, and good grief. Oh, here they are. Okay. Um... 
I got on the monthly club because this is a sow with my local needlework shop, Pandas Crossing, and several others. And I was also using this for my um, Fat Quarter Shop series of the month or something that they were doing sow. But then I kind of fell by the wayside, so I quit doing that. But um, I'm only on the first block, and it's Snow Village. I've almost got it done. But my goal is to get one block finished besides this block. I'm going to finish this block and do one block more in that month. And hopefully I'll pick this one up a little bit more. But I'm doing them all together. And this one's on the 32 count French Country Rain linen. And it uses all the call for colors. And this one... I was so gung-ho that I put it in this little storage box, you know, and and was going to keep it in my car so I could just have it to stitch on. But, hmm, yeah. Okay, and last but not least is 13 Days of Halloween. Because, you know, we got to have us some Halloween. And this is the Lucky 13 Club by Amy Brecken Designs. And these patterns came out last year. Mm, or was it year before last? I don't know. Anyway, uh, she gave us an extra graph, which, of course, I've not even started. Oh, my goodness. Um, and we've got, like, the pumpkins. And this is what the whole thing looks like. And I just thought that was so cute. And I thought my grandson might enjoy that because they really go all out for Halloween. Okay, and I ordered the kit. So I ordered the fabric. And I ordered the um oh here it is. Guess what? I dropped it. <laughs> okay. Um the witch bowl was the first graph, and I just thought that was just so cute. Um the fabric is an orange 32 count linen. I do not know who it's from. I would guess and say R&R, &R. or it could be weeks because it's, I think it's weeks because it's kind of limp. But anyway, this is my progress so far. There's the little witch bowl. There's the little ghost, the pumpkin stack, Frankenstein. I need to go back and finish the pumpkin stack. And then the month. So my goal for this is to get two more figures done and the pumpkins finished. And there is a considerable amount of back stitching in this also. Um, it uses two over two, and I'm using all the call four colors. So I'm going to show you one more picture. It's called Lucky 13 by Amy Brecken. And you get 13 graphs. And because we ordered it um, as a kit, Donna gave us our Lucky 13 bag to go with it. So, and it uses uh, Week Style Works also and gas and, uh, you know, sampler threads and uh, classic color works. No, it just uses Week Style Works. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. So, those are my whips and... Let's see if I get a lot done this year because I got a good bit amount done last year, but I did a Christmas stocking that took up a lot of my time and it was very tedious, but I really enjoyed doing it for my son-in-law and he loves it. So that's good. So this year I can just do all the things. So, um, hopefully I'll get a lot of my whips done because I do have more than 25. My friends are like, how many do you have? A lot. But they're mostly just uh, retreat projects of things that, you know, are almost finished or just started. So that's always good. It's always good to have something for a rainy day because who knows? We're expecting snow tomorrow. So I've got my Believe Snow shirt on and that I got for Christmas. And hopefully in South Carolina, we do not get much snow. We mostly get ice, but we have a 90% chance of snow tomorrow. And I don't have to work this weekend, so I hope it comes a stinking blizzard. <laughs> so, until then, um, I will see y'all and enjoy Whipco weekend. And please tune in to my Floss Tube um, 
stitching Scotty and um, you know, just check me out and I hope you really enjoy it. Um, hopefully that, um, you know, I can see some of you again uh, very soon. And thank you for tuning in and thank you for subscribing. Have a great day and happy Whipco weekend. Get lots of stitching done.